Fucking Christ, it's uh, <laughs> it's like fucking 6 p.m. It's late on Sunday. I didn't do shit today. I really, I really don't want to do anything. It's so fucking hard to do stuff. I, I just want to do nothing at all. I just want to waste my life away. I just want to slowly fade to end. I just want to be dipped into a, an abyssal pit of oil and, and, and be pulled out some indecipherable um, amorphous blob. That's what I want. I don't want that. I, I, I really don't. But there's this, there's this, this, oh God, inside me, there's a fucking conflict of these things I know will make me happy, things that I'll do to make me happy, and then my innate urges, they're almost just, they're they're self-destructive, but self-destructive in the worst kind of way. It isn't heroin, or hookers, or alcohol, it's naps. It's just like playing fucking uh, Game of Thrones, or or, or, uh, Clash of Clans on my phone for six hours spending 60 bucks on gems. It's shit like that. Those are my, that's how I destroy myself. And I fucking didn't do it today. I made coffee and I, I answered emails. And I, I just, I planned out my week and I wrote a little bit. But it, it was so unproductive. And finally now I'm able to get out of my apartment and, and do something. I'm going to buy some inventory sheets from a fucking office depot or some shit. And I'll make boxes because if you've been watching, you know that the the freight company I work with. Sorry. Holy fucking shit. There was a cop just blaring. Whoa. There was a cop just fucking going. Hope everyone's okay. I, um... I was kayaking. I was river rafting. Oh, Coey River in Tennessee, maybe a decade ago. And our kayak guide, she said, our, our river right, white water river rafting guide said that whenever she sees an um, ambulance or a cop car go by, she says a prayer for them. And I'm not religious, but I, I do, I, I think prior to that, my instinct was to see an ambulance and be like, Oh, you know, this is making my day. You know, I have to get out of the way of this ambulance. What a hassle. But now I'm always, whenever I see an ambulance, I'm always aware um, that someone's day is way fucking worse than mine. And I, I try to maintain perspective. So I, I hope that person is okay. Because that cop was really going fast. And we're still in Detroit. So um, it could have been, someone could have been hurt. And just like that, you know, now. What are my problems? <laughs> what are my problems? I'm, you know, a little bit depressed and, and I have no energy. I'm still alive. My business is doing great. By all measurable statistics, it's growing. Uh, I'm getting in better shape. I'm eating healthy. I'm doing this every day. Uh, I'm staying active. But still, I want to complain. I don't know why. I have no idea why I'm complaining. I, mean, I do know why. It's because when we become so interested in, our, in ourselves and our own actions, our universe becomes smaller and smaller. And the variance of actions and mechanisms that we can compare our experiences to um, also shrinks. And so I'm only comparing my life to my life. And so this day was worse than the last, so it's the worst. You know, never mind that the life I have is globally the top 1%, easily, easily. You know, anybody who fucking has healthcare benefits in America is the top 1% globally. And I think it's really easy for us to forget that. Um, And to just, it's, it isn't, it's kind of entitlement, but it's just uh, uh, an extreme lack of perspective that I'm, going against, and I, I, I don't know, that's a problem I have, I'm, you know, I'm a very closed person, I'm an extrovert, I, talk, I love talking, but in regards to, like, who, who I really am on an intimate level, 
not many people know that, and that causes me to only think about myself because that, that not for selfish reasons, but just because that's the only standard I have. Um, and so that's you know I got to work on that. And it's good that I'm doing these videos because it allows me to externalize these feelings. And I'll go through and I'll watch this and I'll say, oh, a month ago or two months ago or a year ago. Wow, that'd be crazy. A year ago. I was trying to be more humble. How am I doing on that? Do I still have that perspective? Um, this was the entire video for today. I'm just driving to, to, get, to get this and I wanted to check in. I haven't done anything worthwhile today. Uh, I'm kind of a little bit embarrassed about that. I want to do things every single day that are worth sharing. But sometimes you can't do that, and that doesn't mean that you should quit. That doesn't mean I should quit. Um, you know, just because I'm failing at a Herculean task, like having a life where every day is worth sharing, doesn't mean that the exercise and the path and the procedure doesn't have value in itself. I uh, appreciate you, you know, for watching these. It's been, I've surpassed two weeks, so we'll see. I, I want to do it, you know, forever and definitely, or until obstacles come up where I can't. So please, uh, if you enjoyed these, subscribe to them and, and uh, stick with me on my path.